Cameron, he went off on Kim Kardashian because Kim Kardashian was wearing a shirt, right? With her sister and these, I guess these five NBA players that she dated, right? And people thought that she was taking a subtle jab at, at, at Kylie. No, Kendall, excuse me, Kendall. So Cameron responded, by the way, that's an excellent podcast that him and Mace are doing. I think, I think Mace is hilarious. I think Cameron is hilarious. I think they work well together. I think they have one of the best podcasts out there right now. And I don't say that. I don't say that very loosely. I think that what Mace and Cameron is doing is, is greatness. You know, you got two New York dudes and uh, they've been able to make it work, man. They, they make that show look like it's really, <laughs> really one of these televised uh, debate shows or whatnot, right? So this is according to Hip Hop, let's see, Hip Hop DX. It says, Cameron has made it very clear that he's not amused by Kim Kardashian's recent social media posts that poke fun at Kendall Jenner's dating life. The video in question was posted on Kardashian and da uh, daughter Northwest joint TikTok account earlier this month in the clip, keeping up with the Kardashian star plays with and sets up her firstborn's hair and it was her t-shirt that caught everyone's attention. The Skims founder was seen wearing a Kindle starting five T with a picture of her half sister surrounded by all the NBA players that she has dated. The basketball stars included on the fantasy team were Blake Griffin, Devin Booker, Jordan Clarkson, Ben Simmons, uh, Kyle Kuzma. Let me give y'all a story about Blake Griffin, right? Blake Griffin ended up paying a, a ton of support to his, his ex fiance because he actually left his ex fiance to be with Kendall and he ended up paying for it in court. Okay. And his career has never been the same. The same goes for Ben Simmons. When ben, after Ben Simmons stopped dating Kendall Jenner, his career went down the drain. In response, rapper and sports commentator Cameron put Kim Kardashian on blast for her dating history during a recent episode of It Is What It Is. Watch the video below. Kim Kardashian wore a shirt taunting her sister Kendall Jenner Look at this. starting five. Look at this. Look at this show. <laughs> Picks with a t shirt of her ex boyfriends. She's wearing a shirt titled Kendall starting five with her exes Jordan Clarkson, Kuz, Ben Griffin, Ben Simmons, and Devin Booker. What are your thoughts? That's a crazy starting five. I think the bitch got a lot of old fucking dacity. <laughs> bitch, you started off fucking Ray J. Why do people ignore that? Now you gonna torture your sister like she got mad, nigga. She got it from you, bitch. Yo, if fuck Reggie Bush was his sure to, yeah, to be crazy. Her to be crazy. Yeah, I mean, you look at Kim. I mean, look at all the dudes Kim been with that's so that's athletes or entertainers, right? Be now, I'm just all fun and games with her sister because, listen, your, your starting five consists of athletes and entertainers. First of all, we got the head coach, Ray J. We got Reggie Bush. Then she made that basketball <laughs> player was a shit. Then she found out <laughs> yeah. he wasn't shit and curved that nigga. Then yeah. she started fucking with another athlete. Then she got with mm -hmm. Kanye and had kids. Got into an argument with Kanye. Rushed the fuck with Pete Davidson. Bitch, your lineup is wild, too. You got a lot of nerve, man. At least Kendall... She's can, global. Yeah, there you go. She's global. Yeah, she's very global, but don't act like your sister ain't see you do this shit first, bitch. Amen. And that's a word from Cameron, all right? Uh, it says, speaking to co-host Mace and Treasure Wilson, Cam, uh, Cam said, I think the B got a lot of often, odd, often dacity. B, you started off effing Ray J. Why do people ignore that? And now you want to taunt your sister like she got mad N words. She got it from you. He added, your starting five consists of athletes and entertainers. First of all, we don't got the head coach Ray J. Uh, then we got Reggie Bush. Then she married that basketball player that wasn't ish. And found out he was an ish and curved that N word. Mm -hmm. Then she started messing with another athlete. Then she got with Kanye and had kids. Then got into an argument with Kanye and then rushed 
to go F. Pete Davidson. Your lineup is wild, too. You got a lot of nerve, man. Cameron and Kanye West have remained friends despite the latter's recent fall from grace to this point. The East Coast MC's comments about uh, Kardashian seem to be energized by her tumultuous divorce from the Yeezy founder. Uh, see, the Kardashian and Jenner's collectively have been in a series of highly politicized relationships with other celebrities, and their dating life has been the subject of media scrutiny over a decade. Now, regardless of this, Kim was always had a sense of humor about her presence in the public eye. This often takes the shape of in her joking about herself as well as her family. The most notable instance of this was when she hosted Saturday Night Live in 2021. That's I believe that's when she met Pete Davidson, right? And then when she met Pete Davidson and then entered into a relationship with him. Yeah, man, listen, Kendall has had a heck of a career, but we can't, we got to talk about the GOAT. <laughs> Kim Kardashian is the goat of the streets. We got one goat of the streets, ladies and gentlemen, and it is Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian is the goat of the street. Yeah, Nick Cannon in there too. Skeet Davidson, absolutely. She is the goat. All these heifers want to be like you, Kim. Hey, Kim, all these heifers want to get bodies like you. They're out getting surgeries to look like you. They're copying your style. They want to be you. So I would say the goat of the streets, ladies and gentlemen, the female goat of the streets is Kim Kardashian. Nobody has had a career. She's had a hall of fame career. Um, as far as slurs, slurism is concerned, the, she definitely deserves the lifetime achievement award for slurring her. Uh, you could put Amber Rose up there, but I think, Kim Kardashian definitely deserves the lifetime achievement award when it comes to being in these streets. Nobody has done it better than Kim Kardashian. She has made a billion dollar career off being for the streets. Okay. Being available to the most high profile professional athletes and entertainers. So I definitely think if we're thinking of who could be slower of the decades floor, um, uh, lifetime achievement award for most outstanding slur. We got to give it to Kim. We got to give it to Kim. I mean, she's a multiple time, uh, for the streets award winner multiple time. I mean, she's been winning awards for over a decade. I mean, only the last couple of years has she been a, you know, had competition like that, but I mean, you know, nobody's really been doing it as long as Kim Kardashian has been doing it. Kim Kardashian has definitely been out here building a, a successful slower career, slowing career. And I think that's what Cameron was getting at. The fact that she has built such a successful business off of her career of slowing off the most successful black men out there. Right? So we definitely need to give her the lifetime achievement award when it comes to being a slur. And I think that lifetime achievement award definitely should be given to Kim Kardashian because she has definitely made an impact out here. You got women putting their bodies and their life on the line to get BBL surgeries, tummy tucks. They're, they're getting facial surgeries all to look like Kim. So yes, she is, she is, she is somebody that these helpers look up to. They want to be like her no matter what race you got black women trying to look like her. You got, you got melanated health for trying to like Kim Kardashian. They talk about her one minute and then they want to look like her the next. You know why? Because she has built a successful business out of being a huge slur and, and making her way through the industry. So we definitely need to give Kim her flowers. She been out here in these streets. She been making it, making a way for people. She made a way for her sisters. She has got them going in the streets, right? So definitely she deserves her flowers. She definitely been putting in that work. And, and I think that's what Cameron was definitely alluding to uh, in that particular clip.